as the moon sets, our hero rides across the field. Why I don't know? That's just how the that's just how the, the um Ah the hell, that's just how Nintendo designed it. Yo yo YouTubers, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Last time we finished out the rest of the Spirit Temple, got the Spirit Medallion, and found out from Raru that someone is waiting for us back in the Temple of Time. Now if you're wondering why I'm back here in the title screen, well, that's because I found that after I saved and quit from the last episode, it turns out that as, as soon as I go back into the file, then, then a cutscene will automatically begin, so I have no control during that, so... I figured I may as well start here, with a little brief commentary at the beginning, and yeah, all that jazz. Now, just letting you know, um, in my first main main playthrough of this game, this was... Um, I didn't really get far up to this point, so... I actually did a little off, a little um, practice run off screen of this final bit. So, I pretty much know what to do at this point, so... Anyway, as we some, for some reason go back to Kokiri Forest, let's get on with the cutscene, huh? And I'll see you guys there. I have been waiting for you, Link. Link, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now you have a final challenge. A showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce, passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikahs. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the, to hold the two other Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Link. And the other, who holds the Triforce of Wisdom, is the Seventh Sage who is destined to be the leader of them all. <laughs> Lay Gasp It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. 
was about time we saw you, lady. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it, would ne it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. As long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sa sacred realm. I almost said Shadow Realm. This ain't Yu-Gi-Oh. But something I could never expect happened. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the sacred realm. Your spirit remained in the sacred realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondorf had become the Evil King, and the Sacred Realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah, and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. Talk about patience. And now you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the Evil King, will end. The six sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf the Evil King will vanish from Hyrule. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the Evil King's defenses. The power given to the Chosen Ones. The Sacred Arrow of Light. Personal note, I, I actually thought Zelda looked a bit better as in the young days. Right now, adult Zelda here, well, I imagine it's probably due to the limitations of the N64, but I don't know. It's just... meh. And after all that, we now have the Light Arrow. Similar to the Fire Arrow, but it uses light. And technically, it uses less magic than any other spell we have, even less than the fire arrows. Which I later found the l the fire arrows are indeed required. So if you don't have the fire arrows, you're in trouble. That rumbling. It can't be. It be all right. Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No. It was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these other two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world, generic. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. Ganondorf, you are going to pay for that. Okay, so before going off, I want to check something. Yep, good. I have a bottle of magic. You're gonna want. You're gonna want some magic if you're gonna get through this. Because if you don't have magic, let's just say you're screwed. Well, really, if you want to make some prep final preparations and get some um, 
extra stuff, now would be a good time. Because honestly, at this point, there is no going back. At least not for me. Ba da ba da. Okay, I admit that was very bad. I, I'm so sorry. Anyway, you get that cutscene as soon as you enter this area. Link, can you hear me? It's Raru the Sage. About time we heard from you. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower. It's protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. Bridge and we're on our way to Ganon's Castle. Alright, starting off Ganon's Castle. The te technically the final dungeon of the game. Right now, just avoid those Beemos, they ain't worth it. If you're lucky here. That's the that's the evil barrier that Rauru was talking about. We need to dispel all all six of the of the um, spells here in order to get in order to get inside the tower. However, starting off, I want to show you a couple things. First of all, let's get that Lens of Truth out. Somewhere around here, up back here. Now over this way, there, there are some more red fairies here. Or just plain fairies. So if you're ever running low, you got, and you, want, you have empty bottles and you want some, then just go ahead and come here. Um, actually, right now I kind of want an empty bottle, so, so I'm gonna get get rid of one of these right now. Um, we technically don't need an empty bottle right now. But that's only until we get to the um, to one of the barriers, which, like I said, won't be for a while. Now, for right now, my personal recommendation: go to the shadow barrier first, and that's the forest. Which one's the shadow? Oh, there it is, all the way on the other side. You know, one thing I totally forgot to mention, or at least forgetting to do, the backpedaling trick. You know how I mentioned that before? Backpedaling is the fastest way to go. So I ain't joking when I say this. You written, you do need to use the lens of truth. And some fire arrows, too. Hang on a second, I gotta check notes to make sure I know what I'm doing. Okay, you're gonna need Lens of Truth, Megaton Hammer, Fire Arrows, and the works. So starting off here, shoot a Fire Arrow at that torch over there. Make those things appear. Avoid the green bubble. Now right, let's get rid let's get rid of those hover boots. All right, that's good. He's gone. And more rupees we do not need. And there go the arrows. We could have one of those. And there goes magic. That's quite a jip, ain't it? All right, let's get those hover boots back out again. Ready? Fire, and I missed. Okay, I guess I gotta aim a little higher there. There we go. Whoops. Okay, I admit that was very bad, and the like like is back. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, 
know, let's get rid of those hover boots again. I'll cut to when I to when we get back to where I'm supposed to be, so see you in a sec. Alright, let's try this again, this time with the hover boots off. Alright, now we put them on, I think. Crap! See you guys in a minute, again. I'm doing very badly, aren't I? Okay, now we're talking. Alright, so what about the long shot? Not the ones of truth for right now. And in here, the only our final dungeon item. What do we get? 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 We got the Golden Gauntlets! Yep, last time I have to sing through that. So the Golden Gauntlets, they're pretty much the same as the Silver Gauntlets, only they're much, much more powerful. Okay, so now we're gonna need the Hover Boots. And now we're gonna need the Lens of Truth. So we can see this invisible ice path here. Alright. Let's get in, bring out that, that Megaton Hammer. Now this place real, is really gonna test your skills, that's for sure. Now I think I better take off these Hover Boots. If I don't slip off again. I think we can just make it if I long shot that torch there. I think. Yep. I thought so. So that ugly thing right there, that's the barrier. Or at least the core of it. In order to get rid of it, you need to shoot a, you shoot a light arrow. And right here in these jars, they generally have magic and arrows, so if you're ever running low on those, don't forget to, sl to slice and dice these up. Of course, they may also contain hearts if you're looking a little low. Uh, there. The shadow barrier is dispelled. Please save the princess. Hey, we're a generic hero. What are we supposed to do? Join a circus? And with that, the shadow barrier is down. One down, five to go. But we're not going to get to there just yet. Mainly because there is one final upgrade I want to get. So I'll see you guys outside of Gan's castle again. Alright, so now that we have the golden gauntlets, we can lift up a ve very huge object. Something very heavy indeed. But of course, you still can't swing your sword any harder, so... That's a darn shame. And here it is, right here. Can I smash this? No, I guess not. I don't know why I'm smashing these, though. They don't really give much. Now get a load of this. Holy cow, Link is a god mod. Okay, not a god mod, more like a Superman. You know I'm just kidding when I say all that, right? So in here... ...is the final Fairy's Fountain. Now this one gives you prob probably the best upgrade in the game, so... I highly recommend you pick this up, because the final boss battles... Oh boy, they will do a lot of damage here. And you'll definitely need this. Very dramatic views. <laughs> Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Courage. I'm going to enhance your defensive power. 
Receive it now. So now you get it. With this final spell, take a good look at our hearts. <laughs> look at that. Retro, right? So we now have some extra defense. With, the, with this, any damage we get is reduced by half, as the Great Fairy said. <laughs> oh, excuse me again. So, what that means is, a, an attack that would normally do like four hearts of damage will instead do two hearts of damage. Ain't that slick? So with this upgrade, we are pretty much ready for the rest of the game. Yeah, we are pretty much at the end of them over here. So, with that in mind, hello Gold Skatula, goodbye Gold Skatula. That's gonna do it for today, guys. So, next time on Ocarina of Time, we we will take care of the the last the the remaining barriers in Ganon's castle, and see if we can find our way to and see if we can get inside Ganon's Ganon's tower. So, until so next time, YouTubers. On that note, I take my leave. And always roll away from a Beemos, by the way. It's cooler.